See how that works. Needs like a ratchet strap. <laughs> Genevieve is not with me today, so I wore the orange vest. That way, if something happens to me, I become unconscious or otherwise impaired out here. I am not laying out here and invisible. So people will be able to find me a little bit quicker, perhaps. I have told everybody where I am at, so I'm nice and safe that way. Very important. What else have I brought with me in addition to the orange vest? I also, and I haven't mentioned this before, but I think it's important to share with you. I think some of you folks will find this interesting, but I am carrying my pistol. I do have my pistola with me, my, uh, my Beretta. So I have my concealed carry item with me. So I think that's important to have. I'm just a big fan of being prepared and whatnot. Better safe than sorry, better to have it than not. And I have it handy where I can get to it pretty quick if I need to. I do have a concealed carry permit, so this is totally legal for me to have this. Neat thing about this shoulder holster too, is walking around out here, I kind of forget I've got it on. You know what I mean? I, I Even driving in a car, it doesn't, uh, once you're used to wearing it, it doesn't get uncomfortable at all. It's just sitting there hanging there. And this gun's small enough that I mean, I got other Berettas, I got other 9mm, I got plenty of other firearms. This one's small enough and light enough that I don't feel uncomfortable carrying it. Another thing I brought with me on this trip is a turkey call. I am going to try and a little bit of practice. I'm going to throw up a couple of calls while I'm out here. Uh, old grumpy hunter, Gary Rose, thank you for the caution. He sent me a message and said, hey, before you do that, check your local regulations. And you do want to do that, of course, with all of this stuff. In Kentucky, where he is from, you cannot do this. But I double checked, there was a movement in 2017 to restrict this preseason turkey calling in Pennsylvania, but that did not pass. It did not go through. So technically, this is legal. And I'm going to throw up a couple calls here while I'm out here and see how that works out. Nothing, and I am sure that's my fault because <laughs> I'm 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 rough with these things, but I do try to uh, and do plan on using it every year. I get a little bit better, a little bit. We'll see. You never know what you're gonna, get that out. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see. I just kicked out a whole bunch of deer sunning themselves on this ridge up here. And they ran up over the top of the knoll there. Of course, I couldn't get it on film. But check out behind me, look at that hickory tree. That is like the mother of all hickory trees.
I'm standing on the edge of the pine thicket here. I don't know if you can tell what that looks like behind me. A real nice clearing I found out here in front of me. That's awesome. Found a nice little bed out there where deer have been bedding down. This area behind me probably turns into some oaks and like an oak flats as it goes up the hill. I'm hoping I'll go check that out. Well, ISO 400, nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> at first I looked at this as just a transition area where it comes off of that clearing down here and then it moves up to the, there's a lot of oaks up here on this ridge, going up that ridge and going up that hill. And I thought, man, this is kind of a dead area here, right? It's all these pines going through here. And it's funny too, how here on the state game lands, the evergreens that you get are pines. Back home, just, it's 20 miles away. But back home, at my homestead there, where I grew up, it's all hemlocks. What's up with that? Isn't that weird? It's just kind of weird. I don't see a lot of hemlocks here on, on most of the state game lands that I've been walking. That aside, when I look at this, this looks like a barren wasteland for deer. There's no food in here. There's the occasional oak, but there's really no reason for deer to be going through here, but there's plenty of deer trails. I got to thinking, and let me know your thoughts on this. This is one of those areas that when deer are starting to seek, right? When they're starting to cruise for does, when those bucks are starting to move, that they would cruise through here chasing those does. If the wind is coming up the hill, they will move through here, which in the evening it probably would be coming up the hill. And as they would move through here, trying to scent check that field for does down below me. And if that's the case, this might not be a bad place to set up during that time of year. So let me know your thoughts on that. I thought that was pretty cool. Today has been a banner day. It has been a great day to go out and scout and be on the state game lands. I actually saw a porcupine. I was walking down one of the trails here, saw something rustling in the brush and got the camera ready and approached it. And sure enough, there was something rustling there and I figured out what it was. It was a porcupine. How cool is that? Got a good chance to watch him climb a tree to safety. He climbed about one mile an hour. He wasn't in much of a hurry, but then again, he's a porcupine. He has other defenses, that's for sure. But he got up in that tree and I did snap a few pictures. Then I left him be. He's got enough to worry about living out here. He doesn't need me making his life worse. So I left him alone. And besides, I'm not scouting for porcupines now, am I? I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you're getting out and scouting. Until next time, all hail Bungie. Ha, 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 ha.